India has taken a major leap in next generation missile technology. The Defence Research and Development Organisation has successfully conducted a long duration ground test of a full scale actively cooled scramjet engine, a critical component of India's hypersonic missile program. The test was carried out by DRDO's Hyderabad based Defence Research and Development Laboratory at the Scramjet Connect Pipe Test Facility. The engine ran continuously for over 12 minutes, marking a path breaking milestone in hypersonic cruise missile development. This follows an earlier subscale test in April last year and confirms India's ability to sustain supersonic combustion for long duration hypersonic flight. Hypersonic cruise missiles can travel at more than five times the speed of the sound, over 60, 100 kilometers per hour, making them extremely difficult to detect and also intercept. DRDO said the successful test validates both the advanced scramjet combustor design and the capability of the indigenous test facility. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh congratulated DRDO, industry partners and academia, calling the achievement a strong foundation of India's hypersonic cruise missile program. Now with this test, India joins a selected group of nations with proven hypersonic propulsion capabilities. India has taken a major leap in next generation missile technology. The Defence Research and Development Organisation has successfully conducted a long duration ground test of a full scale actively cooled scramjet engine, a critical component of India's hypersonic missile program. The test was carried out by DRDO's Hyderabad based Defence Research and Development Laboratory at the Scramjet Connect Pipe Test Facility. The engine ran continuously for over 12 minutes, marking a path breaking milestone in hypersonic cruise missile development. This follows an earlier subscale test in April last year and confirms India's ability to sustain supersonic combustion for long duration hypersonic flight. Hypersonic cruise missiles can travel at more than five times the speed of the sound, over 60, 100 kilometers per hour, making them extremely difficult to detect and also intercept. DRDO said the successful test validates both the advanced scramjet combustor design and the capability of the indigenous test facility. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh congratulated DRDO, industry partners and academia, calling the achievement a strong foundation of India's hypersonic cruise missile program. Now with this test, India joins a selected group of nations with proven hypersonic propulsion capabilities.